Hello everybody, this is NanoFLMC here, back with another, ep another episode of Attack of the B-Team mod pack. Uh, what I have right here, you might be saying, what the heck is this thing? Um, I'm up in the top level of my cave here. Uh, I haven't changed much since last time. I mean, all I've done was this ginormous build here. Um, what this is, uh, as you can see, it's working right now. This is my... Uh, conversion machine I guess you could call it um, what it does is it takes okay so here's the first step I'm the player I have experience I walk onto this grate right here all my XP goes in down into that grate into one of these tanks into this tube and the tube not tube the fluid duct goes up along the back of this big uh, tank here and comes into this humongous liquid EXP tank, liquid XP tank right at the back there. Um, and then all this is just some chiseled cobblestone and some glowstone uh, surrounding a ginormous uh, open blocks tank tank. There's probably like a hundred or something in there. Uh, and that is uh, slowly filling up with that. Um, also I have my, uh, uh, my concentrated essence berry machine uh, hooked up under there with item ducks uh, all the way to this chest right here which bring them up to this uh, uh, autonomous activator right here which right clicks them automatically and then the X XP goes into that grate and that also fills this tank up and then what I have on this side is I have XP bottler which if I type in some random garbage so all this goes away I can see this um, so what I have is I have the, the tank that it's filling up from on the left. And so what you do is you do fill. So you, with right click you can drag it and you click aside. And I have auto drink on so it'll automatically fill up right here from this tank. And you know what I might actually move this down one so it, it drinks from this one. Because right now if, if this level gets empty which it probably will never do because it's so full right now. It, it, it needs to be able to drink from the bottom level because if this is empty it won't drink from this so I need to change that but um and then this chest this is where you put glass bottles which I am running out of which this is the main thing you need all you need is XP and loads and loads of glass which is why I made this auto smelting shovel pretty nice um so what it does is it it drinks from the left uh, it takes the bottles from the right from this chest and it fills them in here and then ejects them from the to the top which goes into an autonomous activator again with a lever on it so I can shut the machine on and off and that just fires them at this wall here and then the experience that drops from those sorry the experience that drops from those bottles being broken falls into these four sewer blocks here and I what I have those hooked up to I left this little hole open I have those four sewers right here hooked up to some fluid ducts which travel back behind this uh, another large, large, large tank. Not as large, large as that one, but quite large. I'm not sure what the Marvel Essence is doing back there, but um, so it fills this up. Come, uh, it comes from the sewers back behind this wall, and then out to here fills this Marvel Essence up. And then I have this uh, this pipe running all the way down to the mob grinder, the auto mob spawner, which. I ran a little bit more. I think I ran some more creepers through. Got some more gunpowder, but yeah. Uh, not running it right now. I'm just filling up my mob essence tank, so I have a very, very large surplus of it. And uh, I'm going to shut that off right now. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, it took me a long time to get all these tanks. I mean, uh, oh, another thing. I, I did strip the tanks off of the tree here. Um, I did like how it looked a lot, and that I still plan on putting some rings, a ring around all these trees. Um, but I really needed these tanks over here because this is where I'm going to be coming for any experienced stuff from now on. I'm not going to be going to my tree there. So I'll maybe just do some lights or something over there. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of obsidian to make these tanks. Like the, the ones I had maybe filled it up to here. So I went and mined more obsidian because I had to get all these tanks and all these tanks. And so um, a lot of glass and a lot of obsidian. And so that was, that was tedious, but... Uh, I really like how the end product looks. 
again, it's like a bunch of little machines, like that bottler, those autonomous activators, some pipes, some tanks, some tanks, some some fluid ducts, all that, all of it, and I kind of enclosed it, kind of like I did with this one, into a big casing, where it's a simple input of XP and bottles, and a simple output of just straight gallons and gallons of mob essence. I really like how it looks. It looks like one unit. It's got kind of this overarching thing with the really cool kind of lit up center thing up top. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this. I, I want this to be glass. I'm not sure if this is the type of glass. Yeah, I don't think I like this type of glass actually. So it shut off right now, so this is, this will be fine. I just got to break this glass and re... I, I don't really like... It's too thick. I want to see more of those sewers. <laughs> I want to see more of the sewer. Don't hear that very often. Let's get my chisel out of my block bag. Pop the glass in there. And I have been re I've been really liking the steel frame and the stone frame. I think I'm going to go with the stone frame because this is mostly stone. So if I pop these guys here. Oh yeah. I'm already liking this better. Oh, that didn't go there, I don't think. Hmm. Where did that go? Did that go there? And I have one left somehow? Okay. Uh there you go. That looks a lot better. Alright. So there's that. Um I did a lot, a lot, a lot of um, uh, organizing, I guess you could say. Empty. I had like three or four of these backpacks just full of random junk. And it probably took me half an hour just to go through it all and dump it off. Some of it there and some of it in here. Oh, I made a, all those tanks I made. I I've, I've made like 10 resonant portable tanks, which are the biggest ones you can make. And then I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the reinforced portal tanks, which are the second one, the second biggest ones you can make. Um, I'm not sure quite why I made so many, but I did. <laughs> I got some resonant ender in this one, some glowstone, some redstone, and some water, and the other ones are all empty. Um, but I've been working hard grinding um, some obsidian to put in here to make some hardened glass which is useful for lots of things. Um, not using those, but for fluid ducts, item ducts, and energy conduits. So I'll be using more of those. Uh, hmm, strong box. I wonder if those are better than my diamond chests. You know what, let's make one. Uh, oh, test racks. Uh, that is the next step in, um, next step above these, uh, these resonant energy cells, which I did spend a lot of time making, but they're not the best thing. So I will dabble in the um, test racks soon. All right, so what was that? Strong box. Recipe, recipe, recipe. Chest and, and some tin. Okay, I can do that. Uh, oh, I have some chests. Look at that. I'll make, let's just make one to start off with. Uh, some tin for those. Go to my bench here, and uh, I noticed that the uh, the chest I have right here hooked somehow hooked up to this crafting station. I didn't know they did that, which is kind of a bonus thing. Uh, so that's good to know. Um, let's see how big this is. Oh, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh my. Okay, hopefully they get bigger. Can I break them? Maybe with this? Yep, okay. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I wonder if I put stuff in there. Let's put a torch in there. Let's, I wonder if I can move it. Okay, so I broke it. I didn't get a torch back. I can. Ooh, that is nice. That's going to be useful. All right. Awesome. I'm glad we found this. Uh, so I can use that to do hardened. Strong box, which has some invar ingots around it, which I have plenty of right here. Four of those. Put those there. I bet that doubled it. Let's see. Yeah, doubled it. All right, let's do one more layer. Pick it up. Uh, 
my uses. Hardened glass around it. I already got that. Okay. I also uh, moved my anvils and furnaces, my fern eye, from the, the main tree over there, the storage tree. So the furnaces are there, the fern eye, and I moved all my furnaces up here. My fern eye. The anvi, the anviles, and the anvils are right here, and the fern eye are up here. That's what I meant to say. Uh, right now, none of them have anything in them, I don't think. Uh, I, all I use the furnaces for are making charcoal which is what I put in for these things to charge them, which it costs a lot of charcoal, but it's pretty easy to get uh, wood when you have this battle axe because if you if you chop the base of a tree, it doesn't tree capitate it, but it does chop nine wood blocks straight up. So like if I go over here, uh, it'll chop all of these if I just mine, mine that one, see? So that's nice. Um, let's just pop this in one of those. Don't need that. Uh, okay, was there an upgrade to the reinforced strong box? Yes, there is a resonant strong box. Okay, um, so let's go through the process of making some resonant or some endurium ingots. What I need to do is I need to go to the bottom of my tree and get some ender pearls. Oh no, I have some. I have some um, endurium up here. It's pretty easy to make. The only trouble is finding enough um, shiny dust, which you get from pulverizing ferrous ore, which I don't have any of. So maybe we won't do that today. Uh, yeah, we really can't. All right, but th anyways, this is now pretty big. It's not super big. Um, is it bigger than one of these? I think it is bigger than one diamond chest. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 by 3. So that's 39. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9 by 6 would be 54. So yeah, this is way bigger. Uh, I wonder if they can conjoin uh, what is the recipe tin I need tin I need invar and I need hardened glass all right over here chest invar hardened glass okay now we got two of them they don't. Okay. Um, so we can still do this though. Boom, boom. That is nice. Movable portable chest. Oh, one it has it lists the option. Oh, that's interesting. Let's do this. Oh, I need that. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Wow, that's very useful. <laughs> I'm gonna be using these a lot. Uh, all right, so we gotta get all our crap back. Um, that's about all I have today. Uh, I think for next time I'm gonna start maybe by tearing down this jungle temple. It's really, really kind of ugly now that we're moving along here with the looks. I think I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm going to tear it down. I'm going to tear it down. I'm going to make a proper uh, portal hut. And I guess a proper hut for my uh, <laughs> my sync mod stuff. So um, this has been Neanderthal MC, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.